Let me show you um, a little bit of a, of a product demo here. Um, I wanna play this in 1.25 speed. Uh, Cause I think a lot of people don't actually quite understand what UiPath does yet. Oh, and by the way, on YouTube, drop a thumbs up and you guys could like this tweet as well. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of people don't understand what UiPath does. So I think this will be really, really helpful for everyone. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm Graham Sheldon, the Chief Product Officer at UiPath, and I'm really excited to walk you through how our customers are actually able to unlock AI transformation and drive real ROI uh, and uh, time to value through our, our platform. I'm going to start um, this morning by giving you a view of our, um, our platform and how we've reimagined it to uh, in this new act two that Daniel described around agentic automation. With Maestro, we're not just simplifying the automation itself, uh, but actually how teams manage it. It's actually a collaborative surface where you can design, you can manage, and then you can optimize these workflows and plug in agents where the, for the right tool, for the right job. Plug in robots for the right, to, right places and allow people to participate as well. Orchestrating all of that seamlessly uh, in our system. Next is Agent Builder. Agent Builder is a low-code interface for designing these specialized agents and has an integrated experience to help you test and evaluate that over time so that you get the highest level of accuracy and reliability from those agents. And last but not least, we know there's a ton of data that's still locked away in unstructured or semi-structured data like documents and communications. And IXP is a product that now allows you to sort of extract and make that data really useful in these end-to-end -end automations. And all of these capabilities come together. I'm gonna to show that to you in just a moment on, on the platform. And so uh, this platform is trusted by over 10,000 organizations worldwide. And we have customers like Wex that are using these agents to tailor customer profiles and improve sales engagement. You've, you've seen lots and tons of examples uh, of this across many different industries, many different departments to truly transform the way people work and get incredible results. Now, I'm gonna focus in on one example of that in the context of insurance claims processing. So in this example, today, people are doing a lot of manual work still. You're gathering critical information, you're doing some research, you're updating systems of record and systems of engagement, communicating back and forth with the claimant, and it's a really, uh, difficult process. It's very messy. There's a lot of swivel chairing happening. And think about that daily reality for an adjuster with multiple legacy systems simultaneously open, and it's really hard to stay on top of this. It's also fairly error prone. And those mistakes cost time, but they also cost patient outcomes. And that's what we want to make sure that we can, we can really transform. Now imagine a transformed experience where instead of that adjuster doing all of this busy work, instead of that, we give the we, agents and robots take care of all of that sort of repetitive paperwork and they can focus really on just the part where the final decision needs to be made. Okay, so I want to pause it just for one second. I think you guys who have been following me through the Lemonade journey will kind of understand what I was probably thinking when I was listening to this for the first time. Because I thought, you know, Lemonade was going to be the only one that was actually going to be able to, to utilize AI to automate claims management. And then I was like, wait, there's a company here that claims that they can help Geico and Progressive and all these legacy insurance companies have automated claims processing as well. Wait a second here. So I was still very skeptical. Trust me, I was still very skeptical the first time I was, I was seeing this. Um, but I was starting to think, wait, maybe UiPath, because I knew it was cheap already. I was like, maybe UiPath wouldn't be a bad stock to add as a hedge against my Lemonade position. And that was, that was kind of how it started. Um, but the more I learned, the more my mind started being blown. And that's when I realized, wait, UiPath is trying to, uh, automate, you know, the 92% of the global economy that's not insurance and the 8% of the global economy that is insurance. And Lemonade's just going for the 8% that is insurance. Um, which means that like, even without being an insurance company, UiPath has kind of became a competitor with Lemonade. Um, now, I still think Lemonade's going to be far ahead of the competition. Having UiPath in-house or Palantir in-house is a huge advantage for a company. So don't get me wrong. But this, when I was listening to this for the first time, it started to make me think that maybe some of these old insurance companies are going to are going to be around a lot longer than I thought initially. 
um, and they're going to be able to get a lot of efficiency bonuses, a lot more than I thought initially, even though they will stay behind Lemonade, who has their own proprietary models they're training and risk models that they're training and, and all of that. Where the agent has already made a recommendation on the basis of all of the data that it's extracted, all of the policies that it's been applied, and they can just do the last mile. The critical decision about whether or not to move forward and any additional information that can help this particular uh, uh, transaction go as quickly and as seamlessly as possible with natural language tools to help them get their done job done even more efficiency, efficiently. So how do we make an experience like this one a reality? What I'm going to do is now show you a demo, but I want to start with the process. The process, in a very simplified way, again, involves a lot of manual work. And with RPA and automation today, robots are already doing a lot of this work. Getting the critical information, making some simple uh, rules-based identification of the claimant, and then updating the systems of record. Well, now, with UiPath agentic automation uh, innovation, we can now take out some of the rest of this. You can take out a lot of these sort of more nuanced and dynamic decisions and make recommendations to people like doing the initial duplicate claim check or checking for fraud, as well as a determination of eligibility. And then you want to orchestrate this process end to end. This is obviously an oversimplified view of this process. The process actually is quite a lot more complicated than that. And a lot of the time to value is really unlocked when you can describe this in a way that lets your developers and your business users collaborate together to make this a reality. So now I'm going to switch and show you what that looks like in the UiPath platform. Imagine this particular process is now something you can model directly with UiPath Maestro. I'm going to switch over and show you what that looks like in our platform. And here you go. This is that same HSA process working end to end in the UiPath platform. And as I mentioned, you have some robot tasks where you're gathering critical information, you're updating systems of record. You also now have agents. I'm gonna pause it for one second here again, and just so you guys know, uh, market closes in about 18 minutes, and I'm guessing we'll get the earnings report pretty quickly after market close, so. The time is kind of down. We're getting close here. Um, and and then we, we will look through the whole earnings report um, for, for Q3. Um, and then we will excitedly wait for the earnings call as well, uh, which is supposed to happen at 5 p.m. Eastern time, uh, which is 4 p.m. Uh, my time. Um, but I just wanted to, to quickly pause it here and, and say um, the way that I started to realize uh, RPA, which is, you know, if you, if you guys don't know here, let me, let me, I, there's a tweet I should show you guys. UiPath is the dominant player in RPA by far, which stands for robotic process automation. And right now the market thinks that RPA is being disrupted by AI. Um, so that's the current narrative, but that's completely wrong. But first, let me just show you here. Um, you can see this. Estimated RPA market share by leading vendors is according to AI Multiple. UiPath by AI, uh, um, AI Multiple is estimating has 57% of the market for RPA. They destroyed everyone else. Microsoft destroyed. Automation Everywhere destroyed. Blue Prism destroyed. And and by the way, I've I've <laughs> I've looked at some of these demos. UiPath's better. Okay, it's better. Now, some of these other companies might catch up a little bit, um, but UiPath already destroyed them once. So how come the market is giving zero credence to the fact that UiPath might destroy them again uh, in the age of, of agentic AI? You know, just, just a thought. Um, okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, oh, sorry, sorry. But so let me explain why the market is wrong, but RPA is being disrupted. So the way, so, AI is the first technology that's not a tool, okay? All the other previous technologies that we have ever made in history is a tool that humans can use. So tractors, you know, they're a tool. Humans, we can use them to do more work. Um, the internet is a tool humans can use to greatly speed up communication and speed of learning and, and you know, bring cultures closer together. Um, everything has been a tool. RPA, it's a tool. 
Um, now it, it does work kind of, a, it can work autonomously, but it's a tool that humans use to help do, you know, boring tasks that you have to do over and over and over again. Well, AI, it's the first thing that humans have made that's not a tool, but it's a user of the tools. Okay, you can put AI into a tractor and the AI will use the tractor for you to do work. You put AI into a humanoid robot and the AI can wash your dishes and take out your trash. You put AI into an orchestration layer like UiPath has and the AI can use all of your RPA, all of your automation robots. Um, so that means that UiPath actually has a decade of tools that they've been building that now AI can use, which is like, like this is such a huge advantage once that clicks for you, that, that RPA is not being disrupted, but RPA is a huge toolbox that AI can use to help do automations more consistently, um, faster, with less power usage, lower cost than if you just had an AGI, you know, if you had a brain smarter than a human being, you really want them to copy paste documents between, um, you're, like you're going to use all that power for that huge of a brain to copy paste documents from email to a, to a data sheet, a customer data sheet or something? No, of course not. The, the, the intelligence, one thing that intelligence does is it allows us to, to, to figure out how to do jobs smarter, not harder. Well, an AI that's smarter than a human, it's going to want to do jobs smarter, not harder. And an, and, uh, and an AGI is going to want to spawn off all these boring, repetitive tasks to RPA bots, which guess what? Maestro already has a decade of RPA bots in their system to help you automate uh, workflows. Okay, so yeah, that, that that was a huge realization for me that UiPath Maestro is so good because it's building on top of a decade of tools that they've already built that now they can just put the AI in and now the brain can use all these tools still. Um, and and you can get full into end workflow automation. Like you with ChatGPT, how come you can't automate a full claiming task? Well, ChatGPT, it, it, it can't, you know, use your Salesforce software. It can't, you know, read your emails and then jump to your, uh, to your, to your data cloud and uh, then send an email uh, back to the customer about data that it's missing. Like UiPath allows AI to work within your current structure. It allows whatever AI you want, whether you like Grok better or Gemini better, um, or an open source model, which, which by the way, are really good from China and UiPath trains to do specific tasks perfectly. And you can put the AI into your actual business processes and this is how you unlock value. Um, and people aren't realizing this is where the value unlock is gonna come. This is how we're gonna automate 25% or 50% of the economy. It's through UiPath. That's what's really exciting. Um, and the reason why they can is because all their RPA bots are 10 times more valuable now that AI can use them instead of humans having to use them. Some of the cool things that you can do in this that he, that he shows a little bit later um, are some of the same things that Lemonade showed in their 2024 investor day where like your claims bot, how it's interacting with customers, for example, you can give text feedback to it so that it starts working more efficiently um, or answers questions in a nicer way. Um, so so ver you can like talk with text to train your bot to get better over time. It's incredible. It's incredible the software that they made and all of the compliance and stuff that they already know how to deal with because they have already automated some of the biggest co com companies in the world. Just like UiPath automates for Uber. UiPath automates for Walmart. UiPath automates for the Navy and the VA. Uh, UiPath automates for the Coast Guard. UiPath automates for huge Fortune 500 tech companies, okay? UiPath already understands the governance, the compliance, the policy um, aspects that a new startup's not gonna know how to do. And they already have all the RPA bots for the, UIT, for the AI to use to actually do all the jobs, um, which startups aren't gonna have either. So, you know, I, I really think like Palantir, because they had Foundry first and they just built AIP on top of Foundry, they really are a decade ahead of people who are just starting from scratch. Well, guess what? UiPath's also a decade ahead of everyone who's starting from scratch. So keep that in mind. And like I said, UiPath can 10X and it will still be 60% cheaper than Palantir on a price to sales basis.